Welcome back to more Live Fire Grilling with LCOY. Last week, we had a chicken wing competition between the boss and grandpa. Despite both competitors' great attempts, it was a draw. Now they are back for a rematch, but we are changing it up a little bit this week. Instead of chicken wings, they are going to be competing to see who can make the best sirloin steak. Let's begin. Hey everyone, welcome back to our now unfriendly barbecue competition. I got word this week that Grandpa has been running around town telling everybody that he won the chicken wing competition. I don't know about that. So we wanted to up the ante a little bit today. We just went to the grocery store, bought your basic sirloin, both steaks weigh exactly the same from the same store and we are going to have the great steak cook-off. Hey, before we get into the video, I wanted to talk to you about our new product that we are very excited about. It's taken us about six months to figure this out. Uh, not sure how this is going to go or what, what people are going to think, but this will be available for shipping and it will also be available at the log yard for customers and subscribers that um, come to visit. So let me show you what's inside the box. So we have uh, our cook wood. This happens to be cherry and uh, that's the the primary function is is the cook wood. We have our matches. We have our bag of fire starter uh, it's just absolutely great stuff. It only takes a small handful to get the fire going. And then the bottom of the box is lined with kindling. And we happen to be using hickory kindling so that if you want to uh, use it as smoke wood, you can, or you can just use it as kindling. And it comes in a really cool custom made box. We have a couple of them that we've burnished. It has our logo on it. Um, this box also has the logo on the side. We were a little eager maybe to, to see how our cool branding iron worked. But, uh, so this is a really cool package. It's $68 for the custom made box, the cookwood, the kindling, the fire starter, and the matches. And uh, we have it set up. Terry has them set up over here in our shipping boxes and we're able to ship them anywhere in the United States. It weighs 49 pounds or less, so uh, you get the custom-made box with it. I understand you've been over there colluding with the enemy. <laughs> so uh, he wants to have a cook-off and he's upset because I thought I won last week. I probably did, but it don't matter. It weighs good. But this time we're doing a steak. I just got done grilling some jalapeno poppers. And I think they will probably be a nice addition. And then we're going to have steak. So, I don't know so much about the competition. I just know that it's good eating. And uh, we got a supposed to supposed to have an impartial judge this time, but I don't know. It's his mother, so what can I say? <laughs> but we'll we'll do it. We'll just keep doing it. It's fun. Uh, I've got my steak seasoned up and ready to throw on here. So, and we'll have some good hors d'oeuvres here before it. So we'll carry on and see what happens at the dinner table. We are going to be taking this competition a bit more seriously this week. Each of us, aside from the competitors, will have the chance to taste each steak without knowing whose is whose. In the end, we'll tally up the votes to see who truly wins. It sounds like they're ready to get those steaks on, so let's go check it out. Okay, we're back and ready for the competition to begin. 
I've got my coals going on my my grill. Uh, I've been out here playing with the fire that I told you I like to do, and I've got my steak ready. I marin marinated mine first thing this morning. Uh, got it ready, so garlic, salt, pepper, and a little bit of uh, spicy peppers on top. So let's get ready to hear this sizzle. Oh yeah, listen to that. Let the competition begin. I'm gonna lower it down there, get a little closer to the coals. And then we're wait for it to come up to about 140 degrees. That's how we like them. And we'll pull it off and we'll see who's uh, king of the competition this time around. Been a lot of boasting and bragging at the other end over there this week. So we'll just see. Okay, this is grill off number two. Got a steak to do today. Get some smoke wood down in there and get it cooking hot. And along with these uh, poppers, we ought to be pretty good. Um, Let that uh, smoker thing get hot there just a little bit. I'm going to throw it on a very, very hot grill and sear it. Mark it good. And it is really hot. We'll seal in those juices. Get some pretty marks on it. And then, uh, and we'll see. I don't know what the judges will say, but we're going to eat well again. All right, the competitors are ready to take off their steaks. Are you pretty confident you're going to oh, win? Oh, yeah, I won. It's easy. I had a little taste. All right, Grandpa, the boss has his meat off. Are you ready to take off yours? I took mine and put it on a plate because I didn't want it to be overdone. I mean, number one, you can't overdo it, you know. Oh, no, of course so not. So I got this and the poppers and everything is hot and I need hot pads. So, uh... Roger that. So we have two plates, one is A and one is B, and only the competitors know which one is which. Right off the bat, I can already tell that they look very different. One definitely has a little bit more pink to it, where the other one looks a little bit more well done. I already have my speculations which one I'm gonna like more, and I haven't even tasted it yet. Anyways, let's get to tasting. All right, it is time to finally count the votes, and my mom is going to be doing that because she's the most trustworthy, we, we think, we hope, right? So let's start opening them up and seeing. Uh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs> It would appear <laughs> that everyone uh, has sorry, <laughs> voted. Every, everyone voted for A. I take it that was you. Are, you are we it? taking that? Oh my yeah. gosh. Wow, we go from it being a draw to like, you completely blew it out of the park apparently. Lone Star Grill, live fire cooking. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>
Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content. Other than that, I'll see you back here next time.